guys, GF70. Today we are back with the second review episode. First we've done 92 Luis Suarez, now we do 89 Sergio Aguero. I think Sergio Aguero 89 is a good thing to do as we will be talking about his free match ban as well. And if how I think that is one of the most unfair decisions and the most biased decisions the FA is ever giving out to a player. As you can see, he's the 89 card with 89 pace, 880 shooter. I predicted 89 or 90, and I expected 90s across the board from pace driven or shooter. They haven't given him anything. Personally, do I believe he's an 89 rated? Yes. Do I think he should be a 90 rated? Probably, yes. I think EA have only given him 89 instead of a 90 because he's injury prone. If he played all his games, he would have as many goals as what? Lewandowski is, and Lewandowski is a 90 rated card. And you can see, but his stats have gone, stayed the same, or gone down on his on his face. So obviously, in-game stats will probably be a bit different, they probably will be higher a little bit. But on the actual card, his stats have actually gone down, or stayed the same. Anyways, let's get into the stats. On comparison between last year's and this year's, and his stats in real life. So guys, as you can see, Aguero has got a plus one upgrade. A lot of you will know that he's got a plus one upgrade, and that is what he's got. Sergio Aguero is the best player in the Premier League for me. There's not anyone who's close to him, realistically. And he is an overall very, very good player. He's got pace. For a little guy, he's got strength. Sergio Aguero has got skills. I'm not 100% sure what his skill was worth this week, but I think they might be three or four star. Definitely not five star. And as you can see from the stat, his all his stats are stayed the same, apart from the passing has gone down. How can you reduce his passing when you upgrade him? He's a good passer of the ball, he's not a David Silva, of course, but 75 passing is too low for Sergio Aguero. Man City plays a team, they plays a unit, and they pass the ball around. He is a good passer and I don't understand it. And it but as you can see from the stats, he has got he had two more goals in the season before, eight more assists. Overall, he scored three more goals, but it's obviously due to EA's increased ratings that he has gone up to an 89 because an eight, a 90 deserves him because they have reduced by uh, above ratings. But of course, he done better in the season before than he did see last season, which is surprising. And considering he got plus one upgrade, that's very surprising. Of course, he gets injured. For, he played three less games in the Premier League. He did play two more games in Champions League, but he only got two goals this time out. And You'd expect Sergio Aguero, and you can see that he is the um, best player in the Premier League. I think he is the highest rated, or join with Ozil, I think Ozil's 89. And you can see that I think he deserves it, but I think he should be having a 90 pace and a 90 dribbling. And maybe even a 90 shooting. 89 would be fair, but I don't think what they give him at the minute is fair. Anyway guys, I'm now going to... That is my review on Sergio Aguero. I'm now going to talk about the incident that he has got his free match suspension. So guys, this is the incident here. Elbow Winston Reed and apparently Winston Reed couldn't speak after he elbowed him. But the thing I'd like to speak about, it's an elbow, yes. The referee didn't see it, yes, it goes into the hand. But if Sergio Aguero is getting a three match suspension, what about the likes of Diego Costa? And other players that just put their elbows, they went Costa does so much violence, but he never gets caught. I think that's something going on with Chelsea and the FA. And I do believe that Aguero's did he deserves a free match or a one match ban. He deserves a ban as a result. If other players got it for them sort of things. But as other players don't, he doesn't deserve it. I mean it's it's in the match, it's it's bad from Aguero. But is it really anything different compared to what Costa does? No. And Costa I don't know how many red cards you see, but nowhere near enough as what you should have had. Anyways, that's just my, my little verdict on the situation. If you enjoy, please leave a like rating, please subscribe, and if you'd like to see more review videos, let me know, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.